up guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, my name is Kyle. I make videos about cameras, tech, and all that good stuff. Today, we are going to talk about how to clean your Sony a6000, or really just how to clean your sensor on any mirrorless camera, Sony a6000, or even a DSLR. This is how you would do it. We're gonna go over a couple different ways. We're gonna go over using a dust blower right here. This is your best friend. Uh, this is kind of the first thing to try when cleaning your camera. Second thing is a camera setting, which the Sony a6000 has, where it can clean the camera, just you know, flipping a switch inside the menus. And then third, we're going to try a cleaning kit, Altora cleaning kit. I just looked up a very well-reviewed one on Amazon months ago, bought it, it's been sitting in my little stand right here, and we're gonna try and use it today and clean my Sony a6000, which I've never cleaned before, except with this and the in-camera setting. So uh, it's got a couple specs on it. I'll show you guys in a second, but yeah, that's the basis of this video. Let's get to it and we'll get to step one, which is how to use this little rocket blower. So here's my trusty A6000. It's been through hell and back. I'm filming on an A6100, if anybody's curious. So this camera has been with me since 2016. So I've had it for four years. Like I said, been through hell and back. I've had pictures before where I've been on trips, uh, especially I went to Canada one time, had a bunch of specs in a bunch of my photos, didn't realize it until like one of the later days in the trip. Um, and then I ended up using my blower to get the specs out. Um, I'll show the pictures on the screen where you can clearly see their specs on the sensor or it may be in the lens, but at this point it was on the sensor uh, and I just needed to use the blower to get it off. So what you're gonna do uh, on the Sony a6000 is this little button right here. Uh, you can't see it uh, there. That button right there where you use it to um, change your lenses. If you're not familiar though, there's a button there. You press it in like so with your pointer finger or whichever finger, turn your lens and pop it off to expose the sensor. Now, this is what um, you know receives the light in. This is how the magic of photography works with your sensor. You don't wanna ever touch it with your hands. Don't wanna ever get anything on it. If you ever have your um, lens off your camera, which you should technically when you're storing your camera, you wanna use a body cap here and put that on like so, and then store your camera in your bag or on your shelf with a little um, mount cap on there. But I'm not too much of a stickler for that stuff, so I usually keep a lens on it. But um, anyway, these are useful to not get stuff on your sensor when just storing your camera around. So we're gonna take that off then the kind of a rule of thumb is whenever you do have the sensor exposed, you wanna have it pointed down. So if you're switching a lens out in the field, have your camera pointed down and uh, use the white dot indicator to get your lens on. So with the blower, we're going to point the camera down and then simply blow in. This is just, you know, hand powered air compression. This isn't canned air. Never use canned air on your sensor that has moisture and everything like that, where this is really just kind of dry air. Never use your mouth. Don't blow on the sensor like an old Nintendo cartridge. Just like that. So your saliva will get in there and ruin your sensor. And the sensor, if I didn't already say, is the most valuable part to your camera. I'm just gonna say it is impossible to replace if you scratch that or really mess it up you'll have to get a new camera unless you have like a warranty or something like that. So anyway, you're gonna just simply blow the air in there and you'll see some stuff come out. Already looks a lot better from what I can tell. And yeah, this is going to get any of the big dirt or lint or whatever made its way in there out. And then when you're done, just put the lens or the sensor cap back on there and then you're done. That's that's all that is for, just getting loose particles out of there. It's really awesome. I think you can get these for like probably 10 bucks on Amazon. Link in the description to anything we talk about in this video, but I love this thing. Always bring it with me on trips. So then you, instead of editing every single spec out, you can just use that and save yourself a lot of time. Okay, so next let's move into the setting in your Sony a6000. 
Uh, I'm sure other cameras have this. I know other A6K models have it, like the 6100 and so forth, but I'm sure Canon, Fuji, Nikon probably have something like this, but this is how you do it on a Sony A6000. Okay, so you're gonna wanna hit the menu button, of course, and then you have the six tabs. If you don't have that uh, generic tile view on, you'll have the six tabs. You're gonna go to the last tab, which is the suitcase or little briefcase tool toolbox. That's what I was looking for, toolbox. And then you are going to go to page three of that um, setting area and it's right at the top cleaning mode hit the center button on that and then it says perform performs auto image sensor cleaning and then you're going to go up and hit the center button on enter and then the camera is going to do its thing auto cleaning is finished turn the power off you can also clean the image sensor manually if necessary follow the procedure in the instruction manual manual so i'm going to just turn it off and then turn it back on. So I'm not sure what magic it does in there, but it does try and clean the sensor. So these are the first two steps I would take. Having a dust blower is just awesome. Put it in your bag, get one, you won't regret it, trust me. Things get in the sensor, it just happens. And then the uh, in-menu cleaning option is great too. So now if you still have something on your sensor, you're freaking out, you're not sure if you need to get a new camera or whatever, I would say get a cleaning kit try it out and uh, see if that gets the smudge or whatever it is off. If it's like a deep scratch, it's not gonna help. But my Sony A6000 has some specs on it, so we're gonna go ahead with the cleaning kit. Let's dive in. I hope I don't break my camera because that would suck, but I think we'll be okay. So let's get started. So hopefully you guys can see here that there are a bunch of specs in this sensor. Um, nothing too crazy, but there is a lot of stuff in there that I couldn't get off with the blower or the in-camera sensor cleaning setting. All right, let's give it a shot here. Let's move the camera over. This is the first time I'm opening this and cool. It actually comes with a blower. So that is cool. I'll put that off to the side. Uh, we got some instructions. Here we go. Cleaning like a pro. Number one, only clean your sensor when image quality is being affected. Make sure battery is fully charged and then set your camera option to lock mirror up. That's for DSLRs because it has the mirror system. Remove your lens or use your blower to blow loose dust particles. So they do advise to use the dust blower first. Then spray the swab pad one time with the Altura photo sensor cleaning spray. Use only one or two sprays. Do not oversaturate the swab. Never spray the camera sensor directly. So don't just spray liquid in there, even cleaning liquid. Gently wipe the swab across the sensor once from one end to the other in one movement. Then swipe again in the opposite direction. If your sensor is still dirty or wet, open a new swab and swipe again. Okay, so pretty simple instructions. Um, looks like it comes with a cool microfiber thing. Don't use that on your sensor. That's for uh, cleaning the outside of lenses. So it looks like we got a brush. Let's open that up. Uh, what do we got here? Aha, brush. Let's put that over there. <clears throat> Some all natural Altura 100% safe camera lens sensor cleaner. So this is also a lens cleaner, that's cool. And then we have the swabs. So it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. Another microfiber cloth. Dear customer. Oh, YouTube, hey. All right. It's actually a nice little case. I like this thing. Just in case I may have misspoke or I wasn't clear earlier, these are not for your sensor. These are for camera lenses, so do not use these on your camera sensor. These, the sensor cleaning wipes, these are for your camera sensor along with this 100% safe sensor cleaning fluid. So this and this, we're gonna get to that. Let's see. For safe application, remove cleaning sensor swab and gently place the tip at a 60 degree angle on the sensor surface. 
lightly drag from one side to the other one time, flip over, clean the opposite direction. If needed, only use a small amount of the cleaning solution. Finish, finish by using an unopened swab to absorb any residue left. All right, let's give this a shot. Let's rip this open and take out a swab. And that's what it looks like. Just a little white little Q-tip looking guy. I'm gonna put it on top of that. Pop open this. And then I'm gonna do this off screen away from the camera and just a little bit. Actually, let's move the camera and I'll show you guys. Let's do that, that, there we go. Oh, that seemed like a lot. All right, so we got some fluid on there. Here we go, guys, now or never. Um, it doesn't It doesn't look like this is too bad at all. So we're going to go at an angle and one side, boom like a squeegee and then the other side. So I flipped it over going that way now. Boom. Let me take a look. Wow. It's already looking better, but I do still see some stuff on the side. So I'm going to go ahead and do one more. So I'm going to open this guy up stuff on here. So I just did that off screen and then I'm going to go this way again. Boom. Oh my God. It looks so shiny. Flip this guy over and go that way. Boom. And then I'm going to use just a dry one. So I'm doing three. So this kit would kind of give me two uses if you know i do the same thing each time and then i'm gonna do this with a dry one and do the other side all right wow uh you probably can't tell but i don't see any little speck in there that there was before. I'm already, I'm talking over the camera, which I don't want to do because I could spit in there. So what I'm going to do is close that bad boy up and boom, cleaned. It looks so much better. Hold on, I'm going to stop talking and look at it again. Wow, yeah, it looks so much better. Wasn't very hard to do it all. There's, you know, there's a lot of different things that come in the pack and you're like, what do, what do I do with all this stuff? But cleaning fluid and the swab, you spray a little bit on it, go one way, flip it around, go the other way. You're all good. Or you don't flip it around. You just one way, other way on a little bit of an angle. Boom, 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 done. All right, guys. So that about wraps this video up. Pretty cool that it came with uh, one of these little blowers. Didn't know that. It was pretty easy. Just put the solution on the swabs. I wish it came with more swabs, but regardless, I think it was a fine cleaning kit. Like I said earlier, link in the description. I hope the sensor cleaning, the dust blower cleaning, or a sensor cleaning kit solves any problem that you had going into watching this video. If it didn't, then take it to a camera shop, see what they can do, or uh, link up with Sony support in some way, but that is going to be it for this video cleaning the a6000 camera sensor Happy I did it now. I uh, wish I've done it a lot sooner rather than four years into owning the camera But better late than never. Anyway guys, thanks for watching the video This was cool and I will see you guys in the next episode later